I think NEPA is a fascinating compound in the sense that within a single capsule, you have both the NK1 receptor antagonist, netupitant, and a long-acting phytoreceptor antagonist called pananosetron. So several studies have been done and uh, have uh, led to the probable registration of the drug by the European Medicines Authority and by the FDA. Uh, they have shown that this uh, combination along with corticosteroids given only on the first day of the chemotherapy uh, actually preserves the uh, patients from nausea and vomiting for several days. Well, NK1 receptor antagonists should be used in highly metagenic chemotherapy and uh, also in what is called moderate metagenic AC type chemotherapy. Actually, there's a debate ongoing and there is evidence showing that in other types of moderate metagenic chemotherapy, for example, carboplatin containing chemotherapy regimens, uh, NK1 receptor antagonists would be also beneficial. Well, what we're presenting here at the Geriatric Oncology meeting is uh, a uh, uh, subset analysis of the elderly patients in the NEPA protocols. Of course, we didn't have patients 95 years old, but uh, we looked at patients about age of 65 and age of 70. And we are also presenting in other meetings data, which is very important in the elderly population, which is uh, data on the cardiac safety. There have been concerns about other 5G receptor antagonists for cardiac safety issues, and this is not the case with pelanositron. So uh, I believe that NEPA has been shown to be highly effective and extremely safe, and that is important for elderly population. Well, I believe that the key factor is the simplicity of administration. You basically have one capsule taken orally, which is very efficacious for over several days. You don't need to use several injections. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's simplicity which should allow our colleagues to respect the guidelines uh, without uh, too much uh, complication for the patient. You don't need to titrate the dose. The uh, doses of antimedics uh, have been uh, defined as uh, being the uh, lowest minimum uh, dose that is needed to have full protection. And uh, this is the way authorities have gone, and uh, you don't need to therefore titrate. There is no need to take into account the uh, moderate uh, disabilities that patients might have for creatinine clearance, for example. There are, of course, uh, side effects. I wouldn't call them toxicities. The patients uh, will have a little bit more constipation. Uh, they uh, can complain of headache. This is very well known for these types of drugs. Uh, there has been a concern voice about the drug-drug interaction between some of the 5 receptor antagonists, NK1 receptor antagonists, and other drugs. Uh, actually, uh, no such uh, interaction of clinical significance has ever been observed with NEPA. Well, I believe that uh, we have here a, a combination of drugs uh, where the 5 receptor antagonist uh, is extremely safe uh, for uh, these cardiac reasons that I mentioned earlier, even though they are uh, maybe too much highlighted by uh, authorities that play on the safe side. Uh, so uh, it would be my uh, recommendation of choice for an elderly patient. You don't need to think too much about potential cardiac issues in these patients when you use NEPA. Follow the guidelines and use the combination of NK receptor antagonists and 5 receptor antagonists corticosteroids when appropriate and go for the simple uh, case and that is NEPA.